for Films YouTube channel. e for Films is a film production studio. Our goal is to help our favorite brands grow and impact the world through visual content. On this channel, we're gonna bring you tutorials on cinematography, film editing, productivity, all of the above. So in this video, we're talking about film grain. Today we have really sharp, almost perfect camera sensors. Film definitely wasn't like that. Film had grain and film had artifacts and different colors and soft highlights. And now technology has advanced so much, but people still go back and try to achieve the film look. Not overly sharp images, imperfect images, film colors, and film grain. I recently saw the Batman. One of the first things I noticed about it was actually the film grain. Grain adds a certain movement and texture to your film. Grain emphasizes lighting, it emphasizes the shadows, the highlights, the dynamic of the, of the lighting in your scene. Just overall adds another layer to your films that makes it more of a feeling versus just looking at an image. You can actually sort of feel the image and add some nostalgia that I really like. So I add grain to almost all my films and I'm gonna show you how you can do that too. So the first way to add grain and my personal favorite is Film Convert. So Film Convert is a film emulation plugin. It's paid, but I think it's totally worth it. And I'll definitely have a link for all of these in the description. So with Film Convert, you can add a film stock to your footage and it takes your camera profile and kind of transforms it into a film stock. I don't know how they do it, it's kind of magical. But something that's sort of unique with Film Convert is you can add film grain to your footage and it's all built in in the color grading plugin. So they have 35 millimeter, eight millimeter, 16 millimeter, very authentic, it's realistic, and it's my personal favorite way to add film grain to your footage. Just apply the plugin to your footage or an adjustment layer if you're affecting multiple clips. Usually I pick the 35 millimeter and you can adjust the intensity, the size, and really dial in your settings. And you can get a really convincing film grain look that will add so much to your footage. So the second way that you can achieve this look is through film grain overlays or scans. And there's a wide variety of scans on the internet and there's just a range of quality that you can get. I'll save you some time I'll give you my personal favorites and what I think are some of the best film grain scans that I've found. So these can be found on Ezco.tv. Uh, Ezra Cohen is an amazing creator and he's compiled a store of assets that he's made and collaborated with people to make very high quality, um, probably the best assets that you'll ever use. So his 35 millimeter film grain scans are scanned in 8K and it's real film grain, so it's very authentic. Simple to use, definitely worth the investment. You're gonna drag the overlay onto your footage or on top of it and just change the blending mode and you'll have film grain on your footage. Very convenient and another great way to add film grain. So the third method of adding film grain is if you're going for a less authentic, less dirty, um, slightly more clean look, the noise plugin in Premiere Pro. Basically, you just adjust a slider and I usually keep it very minimal, around three to five. It just adds a slight layer of noise and movement to your footage. Maybe on an ad or a corporate interview or something that you don't want to be completely dirty. Um, something a little bit less stylized. So I recently used this on a spec film that we did for Poppy. Adding this noise plugin just added that layer of texture and movement and character to the film. And I think it really pushed it to be even better than it was. And it just really completed the film and made it look a lot more professional. So the noise plugin is a great option. I would definitely start using this on some of your projects. Comment below other tutorials that you'd want to see. Anything involving editing, anything in Premiere, even productivity, um, our workflow. I hope you liked this video and I hope it was helpful and I'll see you in the next one.